How's it going guys? We got the 1974 Dodge Charger. We're going to be installing the rear panel for the speaker grills. Uh, it's going to look really nice. We're going to have to do a little, little, little bit of cutting for the 6x9 speakers in the back. But it was a great time and great video ahead. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know how we're doing. Appreciate it a lot guys. Thank you. Enjoy the video. Here you go. And we'll pop this in out of place. Even the plastic's trying to deteriorate. Before I drill these, yep. go get your speakers and make sure they fit on the side. Will do. Because it says it's 699 doesn't mean it's 699. I want to cut holes in this and find all the speakers and get fit. Pretty good. So we just took our 6x9s. Um, I double checked online just to make sure that all the holes lined up correctly. Um, but you kind of never know. So we just lined it up, make sure that we didn't have to drill through the metal at all. And now we're going to cut for the holes. Oh, when we started, remember this car was a basket case. We brought it home in four truckloads and parts on a trailer. It was a total rebuild. I mean, the guy had this thing torn to pieces. And I don't know if he didn't know how to put it back together or what, but there's been some major issues with it. You can explain about the motor, the transmission. I mean, the tranny said it worked. He said it was a little slow until he got to the end of the driveway. Then it would take off. Well, pulled apart the transmission, found out he actually had the pump upside down backwards in there. So that was what was wrong with the tranny, so we redid that. The motor, the guy told me, he never touched the heads, never touched the motor whatsoever. Went to take the heads off, the bolts were finger tight. He had honed that out, and it was honed at, you know, an angle. So the motor block was almost shot. We were able to save that. Um, that's a huge thanks to our buddy down there in Park Falls, you know, RPM Automotive. He he taught the boy how to rebuild a motor and he worked for him all summer and they worked good together and he got to build his own motor and learn a lot of stuff. The guy was tremendous. He knew his stuff. So it was a basket case and you're going to find little stuff like this, Hunter. Stuff he started, you can tell he started the whole car and never finished it. So it's kind of done half or ended, I guess would be the nice way to say it. You know, I have some other comments, but it's probably not good on tape. So, we'll go with that. Half or in That's okay. So right here we have four that were drilled out for this speaker. But, if we come over to the other end here, it wasn't drilled. So we'll have to drill that before putting in the new speakers. So, nothing comes pre-cut, of course, so we got to drill this out. Uh, drills in the trunk, we got to drill it out and get ready for our speakers. The only reason we're pre-drilling it is jigsaws don't go through flat surfaces. We're going to get that right out on the edge. Get a nice clean cut. Now we're going to grab the jigsaw and jig them out. This is a working garage. Not 
first the hole's not big enough. You get a bigger drill bit. <laughs> And nothing against Dodge, but we are seriously trying to get this one done. We started this project four years ago. Like I said, it was a basket case when we brought it in. Literally came in on a trailer and four truckloads of parts. <coughs> well, we picked up a 50 and a 51 panel van, and we're really excited to get going on those. Because that's something... Me and my son always wanted, and we're going to build them up. One's going to be four-wheel drive, one's going to be two-wheel drive, and we are going to use them for campers, retire, and start traveling. Be something different and something we've always wanted to do. And it's great to have a project with your son, because the younger kids have no idea what, what cars are even like. They know they bring them to the dealership and pay the guy the price to fix it. And I've just never been like that, and I'm trying to teach my sons that you can do anything you want. Just put the effort forward. We run into problems, but we learn and live every day. Here we go, football season's coming, Green Bay. Let's roll, see if she hits. <sighs> Hopefully nice. And they would cut it for you, but it would cost you $45. Yeah, it's, a it's a little bit uh, out of our budget. Like a glove. Yeah, you know what that's from? No? Ace Ventura. There you go. You don't want to pull it forward a hair. Because that trim piece is going to cover it. Yeah, right up to the edge. You can't see the back end. Yeah? Mm -mm. No? Yeah, the trim's gonna cover it anyway. Okay. Get some speakers. Stay right there, I'll grab the speakers. Alright. 
Look at that can. That's candle wax. Funny part is, there's a b still a bunch of candle wax back here. Pretty yeah. sure he was summoning the devil. You can tell about that little story. Yeah, so I mean, I, I cleaned up a lot of this, but there was candle wax when I first took this off. Red, black, blue, every color ever. And this car had a skull in the window. We got one on the shifter, one on the mirror. Uh, the devil might have been summoned. Possibly. And blue through green. You want me to make the hole in the center for you? That you can. Outside work better than inside, I'm guessing. Yeah. Might have to use scissors for that one. No, it's fine. Huh? There you go. Some bolts in there instead of those screws. Go ahead and get them marked. Probably not wrong. Probably have to hop in the trunk for this one, eh? bodies in the back of this trunk because it fits me but let's get this up there uh. huh. why is this different than that gonna laugh because this makes no sense so I use this mm -hmm. and the holes that are drilled that he drilled are right okay yeah and then you come over here this is already pre-drilled okay so back in the day whatever they did this side's already drilled for the speaker that we have mm -hmm. and the other one wasn't it's mm. smaller so this one was smaller than this one really so it's right. That's why he only drilled one. Because the other one already has the holes. Because I, I literally put this up to here. And I was like, oh, my pencil went right through this hole. Went to the next one through that hole. Through this one right through that hole. And the same thing with the last one. Yeah, but he tried doing to put a bigger speaker than different models. No, I don't think so. Because this one is already set up for a 5x7. 
unless he drilled those holes. Because this is perfect for a 5x10, whatever speaker we have. What is that, 5x10? 6x9. Six, sorry, 6x9. Six so this was perfect for a 6x9. But from the factory, this one had the holes tinier. And then he drilled for a 6x9 on here. Oh. I don't know why the factory would do it. Well, the speakers are just made smaller, that's all. The bigger, big, bigger, deeper bass now, so they got a bigger bass on them. Yeah. But either way, we got to drill this one. No. Because, seriously, put put that on top of the... Well, I can get in there and do it for you. But if you get in there and you put that on, you'll see that... It drops right inside. It drops right inside. It's perfect. So, uh... Have to drill bigger so we can use his regular bolts. Yeah, that's probably fair because those are drilled bigger. Yeah. What do you want me to go with the size that's on the drill right now? No, that's too small. Okay. That's for those drills. The problem is we can't. See, in the factory they put the stuff in before before the glass goes in. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert them over. I wish I had some shorter bolts. Maybe Just cut them. Pretty long. Well, that's a pain. But, uh, yeah, I think that was a little bigger bit. Give me that bit. That would make more sense, eh? Yeah. What's They're right where they need to be. It's just the screws are too uh, big. Yeah. How about the whole speaker? Because you kind of. What's that on the ground? What? Whatever you just picked up. Well, I'm going to give you the bolts, the screws. Well, we're going to see how long that they are. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us.
update here for you guys. Both the speakers are now in the car with the back panel all pre-set up. All screws for the trimmer all done. Now just for the wiring. 